So I have, yeah, so the, so the, the, the guided setup that I have that I just described, and I also have a uh, follow-up automation um, package that I set up and install. That one is just because it has content and, and a bunch of cool things. Um, doesn't really need to have any inner, you know, as far as any guided interaction. Um, watching, watching me and my team copy and paste stuff in your system is going to be really boring. Um, so that is, that is the one, that yes. is the one basically like, you know, done for you service, um, that I do provide and, uh, it's basically leveraging the Chime AI bot, which honestly, I will say this even behind Randy's back. If you are going to Chime and not using the Chime AI bot, you are doing a disservice to your business. I have the I bottom agree. line. I've had yeah. the bot for a year now and I wish I would have turned it on as soon as it came out in the, you know, I think it was early, early in 2020, January, 2020, I didn't turn mine on until uh, August of 2020. So um, that was my big mistake, but I'm never shutting that thing off. It's worth the money. So um, but it basically use, utilizes the AI chat bot as a first line qualifier. Then based off of that conversation, when the bot tags the leads with specific leads is how, how that conversation went or lack thereof, then it basically triages or sorts into pipelines that I created, which are simplified. And then once there, the nurturing campaigns start. And as they interact with the system, meaning the website and the uh, smart plans that are kicked out, as they get warmer, they move up in temperature in the pipelines. And as they back away, they move it. And when there's a qualified hot lead ready to basically write an offer or list their house within the next 30 days, you get notification as well as a text notification. Um, I use the same thing and I'm from internet leads, I'm getting about 10 to 15% of the leads that are coming in are converted within 30 days to a face-to-face -face appointment. Damn, That's amazing. Dude. And All then 98% right, 90, so. 98 of that is automated. I only do about 2% manual follow-up. Two questions. Yes. What's, yes. what's the cost? The uh, CRM automation is a one-time fee of 9.99. Okay. Takes about a week, to week and a half to install, and then, and then the okay. guided setup is uh, one hour, one hour Zoom calls. You record on your end for your retention and reference in the future. That's a hundred dollars an hour. What about if I don't want to do this shit and I want you to do it all? How much is that? <laughs> is there a price for that? Because I don't have the time, right? That's why I'm just telling you what agents are thinking. Right? Yeah, I don't know. No, and I, I am going to resist as much of a, as much as, as much as possible of doing the cookie cutter setup, because again, you're you're not there, there, there's not a lot of value. It's it's you know I don't have time. I have money here. Go do stuff, and then it's going to be, hey, I have no idea what this is. Like like what do you, do you want to walk me through what you did? Like. Dude, that's, that's true. Then you'll be lost. And now, I, I'm, I'm trying to get away from that because it's like, man, yeah. you need to be in your business when you're doing this kind of stuff. Well, here's, so here's my thing to that. Adam, I probably would bring in my uh, Jacob, who is in the background here, my, mm -hmm. my lead coordinator, the person handling the CRM, your admin, your executive admin, whatever that is. And I'd be like, you're going to sit down with, with Adam for however long this takes, three, yep. four, five sessions. I don't care. Yep. And he's going to set up this part over here for $9.99 as well. I want you to fully understand this because I don't have time to do this. I'm prospecting. I'm following up with leads. Right. That's what I would do. Jake says hours. <laughs> yep. Yep. See, yeah, in that case, like if, if somebody has a team, they have like a database manager, they have, they have quote unquote, a nerd that deal that's like, hey, you're going to be the CRM person. It doesn't matter if it's the team owner, the broker, or somebody. I need somebody that represents your organization that's going to be the point person that basically say, all right. You're on the other side of Zoom with me. Let's go. 